Hi you guys, my name is Janvier and I've put together a little video about the school systems in Mexico. Hope you guys enjoy it. The classrooms are pretty plain and simple, not much to it, just the basic necessities for any classrooms, just desks and a whiteboard. The Mexican school system is divided into five sections, preschool, elementary, junior high, high school, and then on to university. Preschool in Mexico is required for children 3 to 5 years old. It's a mandatory course for everybody in Mexico, unlike here in the U.S. where it's an option for our children. Also, preschool lasts 3 years long, and the third year of preschool in Mexico is equivalent to kindergarten here in the U.S. After co students complete preschool, they receive a graduation document, which is required to enter their primary school. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of our hearts. Bravo! Elementary schools in Mexico are from 1st grade to 6th grade. They have both a.m. and p.m. classes. They're from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. A.m. and p.m. classes have separate principals and some teachers teach both morning and afternoon classes. Actividades físicas y culturales dentro del horario de clases. Música. con presencia en más de 80 países y con más de 60 años de tradición en México. High school is optional for kids after they are done with grade 6. High school is also known as preparatories and mainly found in urban areas, making it costly for those in rural areas. Since school is free up until grade 6, then parents must pay for textbooks. In the USA, school is free up until grade 12. Recess in Mexico is the time where students eat their food. There are no designated eating areas for the students. Also, recess is unsupervised, meaning students are to resolve any issues that arise themselves. Unlike here in the U.S. where children are monitored all hours of the school day, making sure no trouble is occurring. For 30 years, you will work, you will be in charge of some courses, or 2,000 students, 2,500 students, before you give that step. Here you can see the students socializing with their cliques. Here, like. Dallas Condarias are for secondary schools and high schools. It's a program where students watch 15 minutes of televised lessons and work for 45 minutes to complete their assignment in their national textbooks, which were based off the lesson just given with the help of their teachers. Dallas Condarias are equivalent to 7th, 8th, and 9th grade here in the U.S. and can be found in rural, rural areas in Mexico and also in many other countries. Students complete their assignments and watch their videos every hour. Han representado la única opción de seguir estudiando para muchos jóvenes mexicanos. En la actualidad, el modelo presenta serias limitaciones. Los resultados de las evaluaciones internacionales. 
y los obtenidos por el INE a partir de 2003 muestran que nuestros alumnos de telesecundaria el reto principal del sistema educativo mexicano es mejorar la cobertura, la calidad y los resultados de la educación secundaria. Por ello, la modalidad de telesecundaria requiere de una profunda revisión que permita aprovechar los aspectos positivos que tiene y corregir los factores que obstaculizan su adecuado funcionamiento. La necesaria revisión de la modalidad de telesecundaria también deberá considerar un proceso de análisis de las técnicas de enseñanza utilizadas para adecuarlas, con el fin de que permitan a los jóvenes el desarrollo de habilidades y la adquisición de conocimientos específicos. Para mejorar la telesecundaria, Requiere que todas sus aulas cuenten con bibliotecas escolares, televisores y reproductores, con adecuada señal.